Oh, what about there? Yeah. Just don't get stuck. Oh, we won't get stuck. We have finally made it. We are at Hollinswood campsite in the New Forest and it is the most perfect wooded foresty campsite we've ever stayed on really. I think it is, yeah. It's pretty perfect. We chose this because it's been a very, very hot few days mm. and well, it's not today, but <laughs> we needed shade for Taco and the van and we thought this is a perfect place. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, we don't normally do campsites, do we? But no. we thought coming to the New Forest, it's one of them places that while camping, is well not only looked down on it's very very hard to yes. do and with the start of the school holidays we yeah. thought there's absolutely no way we we're going to find a wild camp spot in the shade so mm -hmm. we thought let's have a few days on a campsite and treat yourself yeah exactly so we're going to do a bit of, a bit of exploring in the new forest where the campsite is actually near brockenshurst is it i think it's about a mile walk to the village so it's really close to that so we're going to head into that village have a little look around aren't we but yeah we did actually get here yesterday but as you saw, it didn't go too smoothly, did it? No, we drove around this campsite. It's the kind of like you just pitch up wherever you want. Mm. It's obviously very wooded. And we drove around and the one spot Luke wanted, <laughs> and I, I literally said, as we were about to drive onto it, just don't get stuck. Yeah, we very much got stuck. We got very stuck, like very, very stuck. Yeah, we've got a couple of little things that you can put under wheels that they didn't really help at all. No, we had people running over and trying to help us. They were covered in they mud got by covered, the end of yeah. it. We were all covered in mud. It took a very, very long time to, well, we started piling sticks under the tires yeah. and everything. Nothing was working. Nothing was working. Until someone came with a truck and saved the day. Yeah, just a random stranger just pulled up and offered I was going to say, to pull a three and a half tonne van out of mud that's some yeah. serious power so thank you to everyone that helped if uh, if you do watch this but yeah we've got our own little little bit here and it is like you say perfect isn't it we've had taco out on the lead last night and today and we uh we had a barbecue and a few drinks last mm. night didn't we yeah. so we literally needed. just yeah we didn't film anything because it was quite stressful so we thought we'd just unwind have a nice time and start fresh today yeah. and i say start fresh it's like four o'clock in the afternoon so we haven't done very well, so should we get ourselves sorted and actually get into the town yes. and have a good old wander? But this campsite is huge. I think they were saying that there's like 230 people, or I guess 230 pitches booked on this weekend. But there's still ample room. Like, it doesn't actually feel that busy, does it? No, not at all. And so, everyone's really quiet. And we were a bit yeah. worried that obviously kids around and stuff. But it's been fine. We, no, it's been completely fine. There's, um, there's a group, you can just see a massive tent behind us that are quite close to us and we're thinking oh are they going to be noisy throughout the night but they've literally had a few drinks in the evening didn't they and then they're nice and quiet after that yeah. playing a few games and stuff so yeah it's a really cool campsite and yeah i don't know of any other campsites like this so if you guys know of any other really wooded campsites then let us know because this is definitely right up our street isn't yeah. it really nice so i was just saying about how big this campsite is because it is huge it takes about 10 minutes to walk to reception and when we get to reception Amy remembers that she's forgotten her engagement ring. We're going out for a meal to celebrate our engagement because we haven't actually done that yet. And that's the one thing that you really can't forget. So I've left her at reception and I'm going to go and get it myself. Mission accomplished. Hello. Hello. There we go. So I wasn't just sitting at the bench the whole time <laughs> while Luke went all the way back to get my engagement all ring. All the way back. I went and saw some ponies. You did. You right. did check out the motorhome service point as well, didn't you? I did do that. But yeah, so New Forest is obviously known for ponies and I went to find them because we haven't really had any around the van at all. No. So yeah, there's this massive field and there was loads there. And I tried to get some clips on Luke's camera, but Luke's camera is complicated. It's fine. But we'll see how they turned out. But so. it is typical, isn't it? The weather. It is raining. So yesterday, Driving up was the hottest day of the year so far. Yes. Today it's raining and pretty grim. So yep. it's in true kind of us fashion. That we go that... to explore the town and get wet. I think the thing I like most about exploring the UK is just how peaceful and tranquil it is. <laughs> we always seem to find these walks that are just in the middle of nowhere really, don't we? Yeah. It's really wet. 
<laughs> we're hiding under trees but we have found horses so literally just the other side of the camera there are loads of horses but we can't get to them because it's so wet <laughs> so, he might be here forever yeah i think it's meant to stop raining in about three hours yeah so we're going to be here for the next three hours Really raining now. Oh wow. Oh no. Oh wow. Right, we've got a new plan because <laughs> it is raining a lot and because we've also realised that most of the new forest shuts down at four o'clock <laughs> and it's about half past four. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and get a late check out of the campsite tomorrow. And for now we are gonna head to a pub, hopefully called the Snake Catcher. Yes. We had a quick look on Google and everything looked really good. Oh look at them all. They're running. So yes, we're going to head to the snake catcher and try and get some nice food. Have today as a bit of a write off yeah. because basically we didn't get out of it's bed wet. till about 12 and it's wet. So it's all our own fault. And uh, then we will go into Brockenhurst properly tomorrow, explore, and then we we'll take the van off, try and find somewhere a bit more new foresty, if that's the term. So we can have a little wander around and uh, just explore a bit. So yeah. Bit of a change of plan, isn't it? Yeah. You know, times are bad when the hat has gone Amy's way. <laughs> I mean, we need you need to share it. You look like one of them little like street dance people in that. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I don't know about you, but I've definitely eaten way too much and probably drunk too much as well. Yeah. I am well and truly ready for bed <laughs> at 5:45 p.m. Yeah, me too. Which probably isn't the best <laughs> for actually creating a video, but. It was we nice. We can have a nap. We can have a nap and then be full of energy yeah. to tell you all about the campsite we're on. Now that will be riveting. Yeah. But it was very good food on there. We had, well, sharing nachos and some dirty fries. Which I think was actually meant for about four people. I think it was. And oh. we'd done most of them. Yeah. It wasn't quite the sophisticated engagement meal that you'd expect, no. but it was very enjoyable. And we're going to head back and see our little boy now. So we thought we found a shortcut on the way back. Well, not a shortcut, just away from the road. But I think this is exactly where they were playing cricket earlier. Yeah. So I'm not sure if we should be walking along this bit. There's a nice, like, hotel thing, though. And it is a bit quieter than being right on the road, isn't it? A bit. We've got the late checkout ticket. So five quid, and it allows us to stay until 5 p.m. tomorrow instead yeah. of 11. Yeah. So that's very useful. So it means only one thing, I think. What? More gin. Oh yeah. no, the gin's yours. More rum. <laughs> the gin is mine. You're not touching my gin. <laughs> Even better. Yeah. Maybe a nap first. Hello, sleepy. He literally hasn't moved. Hello. Since oh. I come back and got your okay. ring. Excuse me. Sir? Excuse me. Excuse me, your parents are home. Well, that was a pretty bad night's sleep, wasn't it? <laughs> but not because of the campsite no. at all, because we have a little terror. Yes, he a naughty child. He doesn't want to sleep. No, he uh, decided to attack our feet all night, decided to scratch around at everything in the van. <laughs> so we are heading back to Brockenhurst. Say back to, we barely got there yesterday. Yeah. We're heading to Brockenhurst, and first stop has got to be a coffee shop and some breakfast. <laughs> Needed today. Yeah. Well, we made it to Brockenhurst. Yeah. And we're now leaving Brockenhurst. <laughs> um, there wasn't as much as we thought. <laughs> there's like there's a few cafes. There's like one road and a few cafes. But we had, um, we had a nice breakfast somewhere called, was it the Buttery? Yeah. I think it's called the Buttery. Yeah, had a nice breakfast and now we're done. <laughs> so let's get back to the campsite, back to Taco, and then uh, we get ourselves all ready to move and then try and find a bit more new foresty areas. Yeah. One thing we did forget to say though, is that Brockenhurst has been voted the most beautiful <laughs> village in England to live in. Are you sure? It's, Where did you see that? I saw it somewhere online, so it must be official. It wasn't Wikipedia. Mm. I mean, this bit is quite nice. 
like you literally you got a green you're surrounded by horses <laughs> surrounded by poo. Got, i mean there is a lot of poo around but that's probably still mm. less poo than the rest of the uk So Amy's just taking Taco out for his last little runabout before we head off. And there's loads of squirrels for him to chase and all sorts, but I thought I'd just show you the pitch quickly because we haven't really done that. I say pitch, you can kind of go wherever you want. So there's a van all set up. But yeah, you can literally park wherever there's a space, which is um, really cool. It does look like we're not the only ones to get stuck though. There's a lot of uh, tire marks and things like that. So, I mean, most people have probably managed to get out themselves and they didn't need towing out. But because ours is quite heavy we uh we had to be towed out but yeah it's a very cool little campsite it's not extortionate either i think it worked out about 70 quid for the two nights which considering it's the start of the school holidays as well i don't think that's too bad i'm sure it'd be a lot cheaper at kind of off peak times but yeah we're um let taco have his last little run out and then we move on further into the new forest so you might notice behind us that's that's not the new forest anymore and we kind of failed with that whole video which is why it ended where it did yeah so the plan was to after the campsite to go and explore the new forest a bit more but the reality of it was yeah. it was started getting late and it was a sunday and we work so we had to get back to our mm. hometown ready for monday morning and ready for work now this is why why we're saying this is because we wanted to make a load of youtube videos that showed us doing really fun things in the van and mm. traveling a bit and stuff but the reality is we work six days a week and we're having one day to yeah. try and make a good video and it's just yeah. not working it's not going we, the way we, we are want. We're, we're struggling to make good enough weekly videos or good yeah. enough in our eyes because that's why the last couple of videos have been what we'd say is like filler videos so how to keep the van cool things like that because yeah we're just struggling to get away as much as what we want to and i know we have addressed in previous videos that we're quitting our jobs and amy's down to less time blah 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 which we are and that's still all in the process but in the meantime we're almost working more than we have been previously so yeah so. The, we've handed in our notices now we're we have a date we mm. are quitting our jobs and we're leaving end of September yeah. but that means we do everything we can right now to make as much money as possible so we can actually travel and do things we want to do yeah. which means we're overworking we've picked up different side jobs as well so we're actually working more than ever yes unfortunately the one thing that takes a hit is the one thing that we actually want to do which is YouTube yeah. so two months there's a countdown we have yeah. an end date two months and then that is when we are free. We are going into Europe. We have some big plans and we will be making hopefully better regular content. Yes. But just bear with us <laughs> for the next two months, yeah. basically. We won't be sticking to a weekly upload schedule as much as we want to. We just, we can't, we can't keep up with it. And I mean, we probably can do, but it wouldn't be good enough content in our eyes to actually be putting out. So. We're going to make content as and when. We're currently at a festival. We are going to be making a video of this festival, which as you're watching this video, we are still currently at. It's the uh, Van Life Celebration Festival, which is a really cool one. So we'll be making a video of that. But then going forward, it's just going to be videos kind of as and when yeah. until the end of September, which is then when we can go full steam ahead. And like we say, we've got a big trip in Europe, which is going to last us from September all the way up to mid-December. So there should be stacks of content from that and then a very very special trip at yes. the start of next year which again this has been going in the background hasn't it we've been booking all of this alongside trying to do everything else so that's why this channel has taken a bit of a hit in terms of the content slipping yeah but hopefully you guys understand that hopefully it all makes sense and we've explained it in a a good enough way and i think what we should do is we mm -hmm. are going to make a video on the actual reality like i know everyone has realities of van life but our maybe our day mm. of work life and how hard it is in a van <laughs> when you're stuck in one place and you're trying not to upset all your local residents in your local town because you have mm -hmm. to 
park the van somewhere. We both have separate work vehicles, so we have to park the van somewhere, go to work in our separate vehicles, come back to the van, yeah. and it's just this constant juggle of trying not to upset anyone, but we have to go and work. And I think we need to have an actual, real yeah. reality raw, of living in a van and, and, and trying to have a normal life, the normal nine to five, which a lot of people that live in vans do have to do. Yeah. So I think we'll try and do that, and it's not all this parking up in amazing places and doing all these no. things. Like we struggle to empty our toilet, we struggle to find water. We're in the same town, we're pissing everyone off. That's our reality. That's yeah. been our two years of our life. So we're going to make that video before we quit our jobs mm -hmm. to show that it's not always fun. Yeah, yeah, and I guess that will give you a bit more of an insight into us and what we actually do day to day as well at the yeah. moment and what we have been doing day to day to lead to the point that we're then able to quit and go exploring properly. Yes. So it's a weird way to end this video because this is not New Forest related at all. <laughs> and we only got halfway through a New Forest video. So apologies on that. Hopefully you've still enjoyed it, still enjoyed it and hopefully you've got our back on this one. And uh, yeah, we will bring you some good content in the near future. Thank you.